YWCA Muskoka held their annual Women of Distinction Awards Gala at the Mark O'Meara Clubhouse at Grandview on Wednesday night. Eight women went home with the Woman of Distinction Mirror Trophy, all of whom who said, It is such an honor to be in a room full of strong and influential women. I'm the recipient of the Young Women of Distinction, and I, oh my gosh, it is crazy, it is so crazy, and I'm only 13, I just started high school, and this is just, this is insane, it has been such a fun night, and I think all the nominees deserve a round of applause, I mean, they're, it's, it's so inspirational what we're doing, this is amazing. You're very, you're, you're very humble, and, and I just, being, only being 13, what's next for you now that you're a recipient, now that you're a woman of distinction, you're recognized in this community, what's next for you? I don't know, I guess whatever comes my way, I'll just, <laughs> I'll take it on, I'll take on the challenge always. I was nominated in the category of community development and social activism and this year I won. As you said, it was my second nomination. I'm feeling really elated and the group of women who won this year included women who are just so powerful, so meaningful in our community and includes my own mentor. So to be in that group, there's, there's no better feeling. I have a dream of just seeing this um, really spread this message that we're not done yet, that there's we can rest and we can catch our breath, but we have so much work to do. We're seeing a huge backlash against any progress that we've made, and that's going to continue. It comes in waves. So I don't want women to, or any activists to, lose their breath, but we have a lot of work to do, and we I'll use this platform and any other platform given to me to just make sure that people are aware of the injustices that we still face today. I'm the recipient of the YWCA uh, Women of Distinction. I won the transformational category uh, for overcoming cancer. And uh, it's an honor, it's a privilege. I did not expect to win. There was some amazing women in the room tonight and I was, I was shocked. <laughs> but I am, I'm honored and it was an amazing night, so. Well, talk about it. Talk about that. I mean, this is uh, to be recognized for for your journey that you went through. What does that What does that mean to you have a platform like this to be recognized for for going through what you went through? And if you know, talk a little bit about what you went through. I was diagnosed with a non-Hodgkin's lymphoma at the age of 29. Um, I had my first chemo at my 30th birthday. It was a shock. Um, it's something that I hope nobody else has to go through but I know they will and I want them to know that cancer doesn't have to take everything away from you if, if you don't let it. Um, it. It's a struggle but if you are strong you can pull through and I want other women to know that they can get through it, they can rise above it and they can have an amazing life and I'm so thankful to be here today and in this room and with this award and having this interview if you told me three years ago i would be here i would have said you were crazy and now i'm here and i'm wearing a sparkly dress so <laughs>